I've said this many times before and I'll say it again because people don't seem to be getting the message. Right now, disruption is happening. Right now, today, as in right now. And it's happening incredibly quickly. The reason most people are not paying attention is because the majority of the disruption is happening first in China and, of course, by Tesla in the United States. But we're all aware of very much of what's going on with Tesla in the US. However, the media are not talking about China, which is actually significantly more important than the US. Why? It's a much bigger car market. In China, disruption is happening at an incredible speed. In fact, I don't think a market this size has been disrupted this quickly in history ever before. Now, here is the exact data to percentages of legacy auto versus the percentages of Chinese car companies. This gives you a good idea of exactly what I'm talking about. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you all. Hope you're having an amazing year. This year, things are going to change. We're reaching that tipping point. It's happening very soon. Of course, if you've been watching this channel, you'd be aware that in China, you can buy an electric vehicle for the same price, or even in many cases, less money than a comparable ICE internal combustion engine vehicle, meaning a gas or a diesel powered vehicle. That is one of the key reasons why the market is moving very quickly, very, very insanely quickly away from gas vehicles to battery powered vehicles. Let's get straight to it. Here's the data. 2021. In 2021, Volkswagen sales decreased by 8.3% in China. Volkswagen have been the leader in the Chinese car market for the last, I don't know, five plus years. However, they are losing ground. In fact, they lost ground in every single month of the year, except one month in 2021. So they're down 8.3% for the year, which is somewhat of a surprise considering last year was meant to be a rebound year after the pandemic year of the year before. Next up, Nissan. These are not in order, by the way, of top sellers. These are just to give you an idea of what's going on in the market, but soon I'll give you an order. Nissan lost 8.3%. Toyota gained 2.3%. Now remember this gain of 2.3% in contrast to, well, the fact that Toyota sales were down significantly basically on the historical averages doesn't give you that context because Chinese automakers were up massively. Like 2.3% would be a huge fail for any Chinese automaker in 2021. So the 2.3% really isn't as good as it actually sounds. Next, Honda, down 1.6. Next, Nissan, down 8.3. Next, Buick, down 6.1. Next, BMW, plus 9%. Well done, BMW. Next, Audi, down 10%. Next, Mercedes, down 8%. What is alarming here is that 2020 was the worst year for a long time for vehicle sales in China, period. So you would have thought that these car companies would have had a rebound in 2021. They did not. Here's the context, right? 2021, Chinese car companies, Geely, up 3.9%. Disappointing. Chang'an, up 14%. Wuling, up 52.3%. Haval, up 2%. BYD up 98.7%. Tesla up 125%. Now I'm including Tesla in this category because they are a disruptor. That's the point comparing the disruptors versus the current mainstays, showing you how these mainstays are not going to be mainstays for much longer. Next, MG up 53%. Cherry up 44%. Hongqi up 42.4%. Dongfeng up 31%. GAC up 28.4%. Lincoln Co. up 26%. Aura up 147%. Xpeng up 250%. Li, Li Auto up 173%. Neo up 110%. Nita up 475%. Leap Motor up 626%. Weltmeister up 100%. Levdeo up 1950%. Geometry up 127.7%. Lingbox up 1,610%. Sirius up 934%. Now that isn't all of them, but they're the main sellers for the year of 2021 when it comes to Chinese automakers in China. As you can see, that kind of disruption, have you ever seen this before? I haven't seen it. I've looked at Chinese auto sales. I've looked at European auto sales. I've looked at American auto sales. This kind of disruption hasn't happened in history anywhere in a market anywhere near this size ever, period. That's for 2021. Now let's have a quick look at 2022, January 1st. And this is in order 
of the top selling vehicles. So as I read out the list, first place will be the most car sales, second second most, etc. You get the point. First place, Volkswagen down 24%. Toyota up 9%. Honda down 3%. Wuling up 26%. BYD up 193%. Geely down 30%. Nissan down 24%. Chang'an down 31%. Audi down 4%, Haval down 35%. So you can see there's a few Chinese automakers, right? But for the most part, the companies that are down in 2022 in January were Legacy Auto. Let's continue. Cherry up 10%, GAC up 26%, Tesla up 34%, Ro up 24%, Hongqi up 10%, Jetta up 30.3%, Li Auto up 265%, Aura up 19%, Nita up 819%, Xpeng up 163%, Geometry up 914%, Leap Motor up 500%, Weltmeister up 310%. By the way, Leap Motor is going to be the fourth Chinese electric vehicle company which will float on the stock exchange within that's going to happen within the next couple of months. Okay, so that was February 2022. What about January of 2022? Volkswagen up 10%. That was the only time they actually gained sales figures in the last 14 months. 14 months of declines for Volkswagen in China until finally they had a good month in February. Honda down 4%. Toyota down 12%. Chang'an up 2%. Geely down 11%. You can see Geely struggling of the Chinese automakers. They are letting us down or letting China down. I'm not Chinese or I don't support China. But yeah, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, down 3%. BYD up 126%. BMW up 8%. Haval down 25%. Tesla up 287%. Dongfeng up 88%. Wuling down 1%. Hongqi up 30%. Chevrolet up 29%. Well done, General Motors. GAC up 26%. Cos up 17%, Jetta up 16%, Ro up 13%, Nita up 200%, Leap Motor up 300%, Geometry up 50%, Skoda up 625%, Leoto up 128%, Xpeng up 117%, and Exceed up 50%. So interestingly, BYD has gradually started to move up the sales charts. And in February of 2022, they actually leapt up to fifth place in auto sales in China, period. I believe by the end of this decade, BYD will take first place and it won't even be close. They'll be the leader by a big margin. So as you can see, every month the same trend is happening. Some months greater than others, but in general, the trends are very clear. The trends are continuing this year versus what they did last year. Chinese auto companies are completely disrupting Western auto companies. And it's very interesting to see because this trend will repeat itself in Europe, North America, and the rest of the world. It's only a matter of when it happens, not if. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.